Good morning, I'm Star Tracker 18 meteorologist Jeremy Landry. For today, warm one for sure. We're hitting the 80s at 82 degrees, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. You do have some chances for some isolated showers. And then tonight, you do continue for some chances for rain at 59 degrees. We'll take a quick look here at these showers. You do have chances in the afternoon, but you'll see here, it quickly passes through. You kind of saw that green in Nielsville, Augusta, Black River Falls around 2, 3 p.m. I think you're going to stay mostly dry, maybe a couple of sprinkles to start off, off for those chances. It's mainly in the evening hours. Take a look around 5, 6, 7 p.m. You're going to start to see these isolated scatter showers pop up, mainly south of 94. And that southwestern corner near Red Wing really gets a lot of that rain, even Durand, Menominee, and even parts of Eau Claire. Anywhere up north, it looks to stay a little bit dry. I will say you're not 100% out of it, but it really shows in this area, as I pointed out here. You're going to continue to have rain all throughout the rest of the evening, or at least possible until midnight. Overnight now, you will continue to have those chances, but they look few and far between, and if not, we look to be mostly clear just with a couple of isolated showers possible. Now at 9 a.m., you're going to see that rain kind of popped up. This is a line of rain, and what it is is a cold front. Now this cold front looks to be pretty weak as it moves through our area, but it wants to develop. So take a look here as we move forward in time around 2, 3 p.m. You kind of see a couple of isolated showers, but you're really going to start to see all of it as you head to 5, 6 p.m. By then it's off to our east, but you can kind of see that it has some stronger storms. And I think still I've seen some models uh, lately, and it looks like it could end up developing in parts of the Chippewa Valley. And if that does, we could have some stronger storms, and that's something to look out for as you're heading in the afternoon. By that timing, what it looked like as it moved through, that would be probably between about 2 to 6 p.m. as when we would have those showers moving through. So I still think it's a chance, but right now it looks to be off towards our east instead of our area, but don't discount it entirely. As we take a look, Sunday continues to have rain, but it isn't until the late evening hours. It's overnight Monday. That's when it moves through. And because of Saturday being a cold front, well, those temperatures are going to take a dive, especially as you head into the middle of next week. We'll be actually below average hitting 65 degrees on Thursday.